Mobile Geek's coverage of IFA 2014 is powered by Asus and Mercedes-Benz. Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks right here at IFA 2014 and we're still at the booth of Otis, which is a small or a smaller German manufacturer that is putting out Windows tablets as of last month. They started out with an 8-inch model, now they're coming out with the Otis WinTap 10, which is just a 10-inch tablet with Windows 8.1 in the Bing version on it. It is a low-end tablet, so the pricing is very, very competitive, at least for the German market. It starts selling at 200 euros, which means just under 200 euros, it's 199, through a major German retailer. It's a fully-fledged Windows 8 PC, basically, and I'll give you a quick rundown of this device. So we have a 10-inch panel on here, which runs at a resolution of 1280 by 800. It is an IPS panel, so the viewing angles are pretty decent. Brightness is also pretty much okay since we're in a very, very bright setting right here. So you can still read stuff when in very well lit rooms. Outside it might get a bit harder though since the panel is not the brightest. Under the hood we have the Intel Atom Z3735F, which is running at 1.33 gigahertz and the four cores, four x86 cores of this chip go up to 1.83 gigahertz. On Turbo Boost we have two gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of flash storage in here. There is the possibility of extension through microSD. The whole thing will be able to run for six to eight hours depending on usage. And I'll give you a quick tour around the device now. We have a two megapixel up cam up here on the front. That's the 10.1 inch IPS panel. Down here we have a capacitive touch button. So this way you can switch between the desktop and the uh, Windows modern UI. On the sides you get the power button up there on the right. That's the volume marker beneath that. And down here we have the micro USB 2.0 port. On the bottom you get the connectors for the uh, keyboard folio case that you can see in the background. And that's pretty much it. On the left we have the power plug. So this is charged through an external adapter. You're not using the micro USB port. I don't know if it can be charged through the micro USB port. We have a micro HDMI out so you can connect this to your TV or an external display. And this is a full-sized micro, or not full-sized micro USB, it's a full-sized, and this is a full-sized USB 2.0 port so you can connect external hard drives or your USB flash sticks and pretty much any other uh, USB device without using an adapter. Um, down here we have a small mic integrated and this is the headset jack 3.5 millimeters. There's pretty much nothing on the top except if you get to the back right here, and you just peel this off. Under this flap you get access to a micro SD card slot and there's going to be a 3G version of this coming out for I think 249 might be exp more expensive. Um, but it, there's also a 3G module in here so you can plug in a micro SIM card. On the back there is the 5 megapixel camera and that's pretty much it. But Let's see, it has a matte cover on the back that's made out of plastic. It does attract some fingerprints, but only when you're uh, touching the device very, very often on the back there, because this has been uh, at the trade show for now uh, close to eight days, and it has been in a lot of hands, so that's the only case when you will see fingerprints on this device. There are two speakers, the stereo speakers on this. Um, they have a disadvantage since the position in the middle of the device is not very good when you're holding the device and watching videos or listening to music that these speakers might get blocked that way. Let's just put it into its keyboard dock right here. It connects directly to the tablet itself. We have a huge left shift key right here and the caps lock key is very, very big. So we noticed when typing on this, you might hit the caps lock key accidentally and you will end up writing caps from that on. It happens quite often, but you might get used to it. Um, the trackpad is pretty small actually, and it's not clickable, so you have to uh, use just the touch sensitivity of this device to enter your mouse clicks. Key size is pretty decent, key travel is also pretty good, it doesn't bend or anything, so it's a pretty good quality keyboard right there. What's interesting is the folding mechanism on the back, so you, you don't, you're not using a full metal hinge like on the Win, Windesk X10, that's a e Asus Transformer Book uh, 
competitor pretty much they also offer but this just folds up to form this stand right here and it has actually two stages so you are not bound to using this one stage but you can extend it to different angles so if you just open it up a little it will uh, lean back a bit further so this has just been a quick look at the Otis Windtab 10 at IFA 2014 and I was rolling with Mobile Geeks checking this device out and if you like what we do on our channel give us a thumbs up follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus and subscribe to the channel plus visit our websites. See ya! Mobile Geeks coverage of IFA 2014 is powered by Asus and Mercedes-Benz.